Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Cooper and welcome back to SIS Film Breakdowns. With the draft less than one month away, let's focus on one of the top receivers in this class in Alabama's Jalen Waddle. A redshirt junior, Waddle played in 34 games for the Crimson Tide, racking up 106 receptions and nearly 2,000 yards with 17 touchdowns through the air. Despite the ankle injury that forced him to miss seven games during the 2020 season, Waddle ranks as the number one receiver in the SIS Football Rookie Handbook, just ahead of LSU's Jamar Chase and his Alabama teammate Devontae Smith. Let's take a look now at what Waddle brings to the table by watching some plays from last season's games against Missouri and Texas A&M. Against Texas A&M, Waddle is wide at the bottom of the screen in motion and at the snap, he runs a V route or a modified corner or out. Now watch him stop on a dime and get in and out of his break. He only takes about three steps here, then he's already working out towards the sideline with good burst and acceleration. The defender has no chance here to stick with him. Waddle makes a good off target catch here, but one thing he's a little inconsistent with is his hands and knowing when to get his thumbs in or out in certain situations. This is one where he probably should have put his thumbs together. However, he's still able to make the grab and get upfield for a big game. Now let's move on to the Missouri game where Waddle is the number two in the trip set to the right of the formation. With the defender playing about six yards off, Waddle explodes off the ball and runs right at the defender eating up his cushion. Once he gets within a yard or two, he makes his break to the post and uses his speed to outrun the defender. And as the ball approaches here, Waddle leaps and makes an outstanding grab off target and hangs on the ball even after taking a shot from both defenders. This shows the tracking ability and ball skills he has down the field. Waddle is now lined up to the left of the formation in the slot as the number two. He's going to run a slot fade here and off the line, he levels up the defender and gives a quick foot fire to open up his hips. At that point, Waddle uses his burst and acceleration to get vertical and split the corner in safety. Now he tracks the ball really well here over his shoulder and makes another outstanding grab, this time in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. This time he's wide to the left of the formation on the line as the number two and is going to run a sluggo. He fires off the line and again is incredibly fluid in his route running and crisp in and out of breaks. This allows him to perfectly sell the slant and then break vertical. His acceleration and speed creates massive separation between him and the defenders, and he has to slow down slightly and wait for the ball, but once he makes the catch, he's able to get back up to speed and run away from the defense for a long touchdown. We just watched some deep routes from Waddle, so now let's see what the numbers look like. When considering double moves, verticals, posts, and corners, Waddle saw seven catchable targets in 2020. He caught six of them for a ridiculous 329 yards and three touchdowns for a yards per target of over 41. He has outstanding ability over the top. Now let's watch a few plays and see what he can do underneath. Waddle is lined up in the slot as the number two in the trips to the left. Now he runs a quick screen here, then we get a taste of what he can do to create with the ball in his hands. After a strong hands catch, he quickly gets upfield and easily is able to break the angle of the first defender, and then makes a ridiculous juke here on another before diving ahead for a first down and big game. Waddle is in the slot again to the left of the formation and this time is running a drag across the field. At the snap, he starts off jogging off the line with a little bit of a high step to keep the defender guessing and then bursts into his route and accelerates across the field. With his man trailing, he creates good separation and then makes a good off target catch here. This is a very similar ball placement as the first play we watched, but this time Waddle gets his thumbs together to make a strong catch and then gets upfield and out of bounds for extra yards and a first down. Now this final play comes from late in the Missouri game with a big lead and Waddle isn't going to be targeted, but we can get a lot of information from this play regardless. He's on the line to the right of the formation at the bottom of the screen. Off the line, he slow plays off the ball and once he sees that number 14 isn't taking him, he bursts vertically. He then throttles down and gives a few high steps before accelerating for about three more steps vertically to get the defender to commit upfield. Waddle is extremely smooth in and out of the cut and creates massive horizontal separation and is wide open 
across the field here on the dig. This is a perfect example of how well Waddle varies his speeds mid route. Obviously Waddle was injured for most of the season so let's just take a look at weeks 4 through 7 when he was healthy and see how he stacked up against the rest of the country during that span. In those 4 games he hauled in 25 passes for 557 yards, racked up 19.2 yards per target and had a receiver rating of 158.3 which was tops in the country. The 557 yards was second in the country behind Elijah Moore's 575 but that was on 20 less targets and 17 less receptions. Waddle's 19.2 yards per target was over 4.5 yards better than Terrace Marshall who ranks second. Waddle doesn't always use the correct hand fundamentals at the catch point and lacks some strength as a blocker, but his home run speed, route running, and ability to win in and out of breaks are what makes him our top receiver in this year's draft class. His skill set will allow him to play on the outside or inside, win short or deep, and also contribute as a runner and return man. Expect to see Waddle's name come off the board in the top half of the first round. The 2021 edition of the SAS Football Rookie Handbook is out now, so make sure to go get your copy if you haven't already. You can also register for a free trial on the SIS Data Hub to see all these stats and more for every player, and also tune in each week to the Off the Charts podcast. Thanks for watching SIS Film Breakdowns.